L. Ron Hubbard is source. L. Ron Hubbard was never wrong. Everything in Scientology works because L. Ron Hubbard said so. Okay, so there's no disputing any of this. You you don't go in and say, hey, what what's going on? And it's crazy. And, uh uh. You either live with it or you right or you. <clears throat> That's why I decided it was a Nazi cult in disguise. They had their own mad messiah, L. Ron Hubbard. They had their own Gestapo, which was the guarding office, which became the Office of Special Affairs. They had their own SS, uh, the Sea Org, and they set up their own uh, prison camps called the RPF, Rehabilitation Project Force. And what went out of the prison camp? Oh, well, they were a prison camp. You screwed up. If you were saying this, this was for Scientology staff, not for public, okay? okay? Scientology staff members, you screwed up. They sent you to this camp for rehabilitation. And they would have you doing hard labor. And they actually got away with it to the church. They get away with it to this day. I mean, what, what kind of labor? What kind of things would they have people doing? Well, you would have uh, building projects, uh, uh, if they were putting up a new building or something of that nature, or they might just have you running around, you know, running around. Well, like you would do in a in a prison camp, they have you running around as a punishment, you know. And I mean, are, are these people kept under lock and key, or is it the situation where they can leave, but they have to leave the organization? <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Okay, yeah, somewhat lock and key, but also mainly you're psychologically locked in there. If you leave, you're leaving the organization. And if you leave the organization, there goes your eternity, okay? Mm -hmm. Because they have by now become convinced via L. Ron Hubbard that their eternity depends on, on, on what they do here and now with the Scientology movement. So if you really believe that, that's going to keep you there. Scientology had its own weird ethics system. Um, if you, let's say you did something, let's say you uh, went in and said, hey, this is wrong, what's going on? I don't like this, it's very wrong, we shouldn't be doing this. Well, they'll have a little comment on you, Committee of Evidence, and probably put you in an ethics condition. And usually to get, you have to work your way out of this ethics condition. It might be actually doing physical work around the center, something like that. But very often it would be you might have to strike a blow against the enemy. Okay, well, who is the enemy? Well, anybody opposed to Scientology. But L. Ron Hubbard had the usual array of favorite paranoid enemies. Okay, the FBI, the CIA, the Rockefellers, the Jewish bankers. Okay, these were all the oil and psychiatrists. Okay. Hubbard added <laughs> psychiatry to this. Well, let's, let's, go, let's go over a few of those. Uh, why the Rockefellers, first of all? Every paranoid nut, every conspiracy nut you ever run into has these same enemies. Why the Rockefellers, this goes way back. They don't even know. They, they don't know why. They were, because the Rockefellers can supposedly control all this money. Okay. This is standard. These are standard paranoid enemies. Well, you've got, well, you've got the Jewish bankers in there. You've got the government, uh, the and, bank and, of England. And, well, and you say that, uh, you know, that's that's the standard pack of, of enemies or the standard conspiracy yeah. theorist group. Uh, I don't know any of anybody that's out there saying that, you know, psychiatrists are the enemy. Well, yeah. Hubbard added, <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard added a new ingredient to this this bizarre stew, and that's psychiatrists, psychiatry. That's a whole story onto itself. Uh, do you want to hear it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, it, it, and it's fitting because uh, David Miscavige, uh, several years back, declared that Scientology would bring about the total eradication of psychiatry by 2000. So, and they've only got about 30 days left, okay? So, they better hurry. Why psychiatry? L. Ron Hubbard, <clears throat> First of all, he thought that the world at large and the medical, psychiatric, psychological 
establishments would embrace his wonderful discoveries, you know, and welcome him as the new Sigmund Freud, whatever. Well, of course, they did. He, he was another quack coming down the road along with a whole bunch of others. Um, so that right there put psychiatry uh, on his enemies list. But the, the more insane he became, the more reasons that he dreamed up why, why psychiatry was not just an enemy of science, Scientology. Psych psychiatry was an enemy of mankind. Okay, 